Welcome Cancer Sun Moon and Rising. Let's get into your 2024 forecast. You have Saturn and Neptune both transiting your ninth house right now. Saturn is trying to rework the way you identify with social norms, your spiritual beliefs, your political beliefs. Anything that you may believe in, it may make things harder when it comes to school. Also, this is a time when you can identify what you really want to identify with. Change your belief system. You're really, really working towards changing how you think and feel about everything going on in life. There can be issues and problems with family or the father or his side of the family. There could also be delays and issues if you are in a court battle or anything doing with legal legal matters or trying to get into schools, colleges, or maybe trying to get a visa to go to a different country. Problems with teachers or spiritual mentors is also something you can experience right now. You are really learning how and which philosophy you want to identify with, which ones you want to leave behind. So some of you may see delays when it comes to getting visas, getting paperwork done, court documents, higher education, getting into higher education, having problems in those areas, letting go of beliefs you've been holding on to, maybe political or religious beliefs passed down from the family. A lot of you guys will be questioning that right now. The good thing is that Saturn will at least let you know what's going on because you've had Neptune here for a while. It is still transiting your ninth house and this can give a lot of confusion. Confusion to where you don't know what's going on when it comes to your studies, higher education, illegal paperwork, dealing with visas, maybe confusion in what's going on in the life of your father or his family. Also just confusion with which spiritual route to take, philosophies of life to believe. There's some confusion and delusion in those areas because of Neptune. So Saturn is going to wake you up to those right now. So in a way that is going to help ease the confusion so you can move forward. You have Jupiter in the sign of Taurus until May 25th, 2024 in your 11th house of hopes and dreams, groups and friendships, popularity. This is a time when you can benefit from other people, socializing. If there's any gatherings you're invited to, go. You can meet people that can help you get to where you want to go. Helpful people, mingling with lots of friends and getting recognized for your work. If you're into the arts, theater or anything creative this is a great time for you the 11th house is the love we receive you're receiving love right now people love you you're becoming more popular more famous if you're on social media use this time to put yourself out there people will respond really well to you right now there is a jupiter Uranus conjunction. It happens twice in your 11th house of groups, hopes, and dreams, and friendships. A lot of you guys might be having your dreams coming true. Something happening in the lives of your friends, older siblings, but as well, just something good coming out of that area. Maybe you're on social media, you become more popular. Maybe you meet somebody who helps you to reach a certain goal. A surprise coming from people you know, friendships, acquaintances you know, a really good surprise coming to you from that area, as well as just reaping the rewards of hard work, getting recognized for it, and just becoming more popular. It could be a shocking surprise that catches you off guard. Maybe you put something out there and all of a sudden it's so well received, as well as meeting people, joining groups and friendships and clubs that really, really change your life. So watch for the week of April 18th through the 26th, 27th for this surprise and watch if you have any planets at 20, 21, 22 degrees of Taurus. Uranus is still working its way through your 11th house where you are probably attracting a lot of eccentric friends. You're joining groups and friendships clubs that are totally different from what you have had before. Maybe your older siblings are becoming more eccentric, more wild, but as this is a great time to meet and mingle with people who are completely different from you. 
You are attracting friends and groups who are completely different. It is trying to restructure your friendship zone and also attracting people to you from social media, from all different places. Mingle with other people that are completely different from you and change your views on friendships. So a lot of you may be changing friends in the last few years. Even now, you're changing your friendships, the way you do friendships, the way you mingle with other people, and maybe you're meeting a lot of eccentric people that will help you reach higher goals and visions and make your dreams come true. On May 25th, 2024, Jupiter goes into Gemini and enters your 12th house. This is the behind the scenes house. This can really enrich your dream world, bed pleasures. If you want to donate or get involved with any charities, this is a great time. Also join any spiritual endeavors, spiritual retreats. Jupiter in the 12th is like having your own personal guardian angel. I have seen this so many times. Something's going on or something horrible is happening and you're warned and protected from it. Jupiter in the 12th really protects you from everything or any secrets that you need to know about will come to light to you. You may have very vivid dreams. Sleep may be a lot better for you as well. Meditation will really help you. Also, if you're taking any vacations, any vacations to faraway lands, foreign lands, or just vacations in general, staying in spas, luxury hotels, this is really great for that. You can find a great spiritual retreat, find a spiritual teacher. This can also give you a tendency to maybe have a private romance, a private affair at times. So Jupiter in the 12th is trying to expand your subconscious mind into the possibilities. Also, creative ideas might flow through you through your meditation, through your dreams. Pluto goes into Aquarius, your eighth house, January 20th through September 1st. Goes back into your seventh house. And November 19th, all the way through March 8, 2043, it is going to transit your eighth house. Pluto will finally be leaving your seventh house once and for all. You can breathe a sigh of relief as relationships with partners, your spouse, other people. Legal contracts will be a lot easier right now. Or dealing with the public, your enemies can finally go away. Pluto in the 8th is going to transform you from inside out. This is going to be about transforming the way you share your resources how other people share resources with you. It is going to transform your psyche. A lot of you guys might get into studying metaphysics, the occult. You might become very, very psychic and intuitive right now. This can also bring some losses that transform you. You transform the way you live and you deal with people. You share how you share with others, how others share with you. You can experience issues maybe when it comes to loans, insurance, taxes, or at least keep a very close eye on all your investments and legal paperwork, paperwork for insurances, loans, things like that will be of importance right now. Other people's money, how they share money with you. There can be some push and pull right now between you and others when it comes to sharing resources. Some obsessions can come into light or other people's obsessions with your things, you with other people's things. This is something that's happening behind the scenes. It is a very, very long transit. But you guys can experience these things, especially when other planets are going to transit the 8th house or when you have eclipses there. You will feel it more, but you will feel it as an undercurrent, this whole transit where there is definitely a push and pull with people and about resources. Resources coming from others. This could be a time when you guys have a lot of resources from other people. Entering into business partnerships, maybe getting married and sharing resources. You guys are learning how to share resources, the give and take. There could be more emphasis on 
intimacy, intimate relationships right now as well. Psychology and learning how the mind works. You guys will be very interested in those topics at this time. There is a lunar eclipse on March 24th at 5 degrees of Libra. This is going to be in your fourth house. It is a south node eclipse with key to it is a lunar eclipse so letting something go when it comes to home and family vehicles maybe selling an old vehicle moving so selling a home and moving to a new one but you are letting something go maybe meeting somebody moving in with them and you're letting go of the place you used to live your family home there could be things going on in your family inside the home in the life of your mother but you are releasing something you no longer need to continue so something is being released. This could make you a little bit more emotional around this time, especially if you have any planets or points from three to seven degrees of Libra or even Aries, Cancer, Capricorn. So if you are an early sign Cancer ascendant, this will affect you even more. You're going to feel like you are letting go of something, especially when it comes to home, family, vehicles, the place you used to live, possessions in your home. You are letting go so later something new can come to you. The next eclipse is a solar eclipse on April 8th at 19 degrees of Aries. If you have any planets or points from 15 to maybe 24, 25 degrees of Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, this will affect you more. Or those of you who have an ascendant from 17, 18, 19, 20 degrees of Cancer, this will definitely affect you. This is in your 10th house of career and popularity. A lot of you guys will be moving on to bigger and better jobs. Maybe you are moving from a place for a better job, a better work opportunity, more promotions, starting your own business, getting the recognition that you deserve. So if you're on social media, you're advertising your company, this is a great time to be noticed or finding a career path you enjoy, you love. This solar eclipse is bringing to you new work opportunities. Definitely promotions, work opportunities, or starting something on your own. This is huge because this is in your fourth and tenth house. So your emotions are changing, your career is changing, your standing in life could be changing right now, Cancers. So being more popular, more noticed by the public. The fourth and tenth house axis also deals with family. So parental figures could be something new going on or something just going on in the lives of your parents. There's another lunar eclipse on September 17th at 25 degrees of Pisces. Watch if you have any planets or points from 23 to 27 degrees of Pisces. This is happening in your ninth house of higher education, spirituality, the father. There could be some releasing of if there's a court case going on and it could finally be coming to an end. You do have Saturn and Neptune transiting that area, so make sure you understand everything. This may cause confusion, or a lot of confusion could be going on in that area also with paperwork um, about visas, about universities, letting go of uh, maybe finally finishing up college, finally finishing up an educational program, or just letting go of the idea of going to a certain college, going to a certain place, maybe deciding not to take a certain trip, but there's an, some kind of an ending in that area when it comes to illegal matters, spirituality, organizations, letting go of certain belief systems you were holding on to and, you know, changing them for something new, something you believe in now, whether it deals with spirituality, political beliefs, just the beliefs handed down to you from your family. You are letting go of something in that area right now. The fourth and final eclipse of the year is a solar eclipse, October 2nd at 10 degrees of Libra. If you have any planets or points from 8 to 13 degrees of Libra, even Aries, Capricorn, especially if those are your ascendant degrees, anything from even 10 to 15 degrees of Cancer. If this is your ascendant, this will affect you even more. Or if it's your moon sign, this is happening in your fourth house of home and family. Before you guys had the lunar eclipse in this area, now there's a solar eclipse. Something new is coming in for you guys when it comes to home and family vehicles, maybe buying a new car, moving into a place, redecorating your place, 
So you let go of a home and you move into a new one, moving to a new area. But definitely something is happening there. Maybe something new is happening in the life of your mother. She's moving into a new place. Maybe some of you guys will be getting pregnant, welcoming a new member into the family. You guys are totally changing. You're changing your direction in life where you live, who lives in your home, new family members, new job opportunities, a new exciting job maybe starting a business, you guys are completely going in a different way. You're saying just goodbye to your old life and starting fresh. So everything is changing around you. It is such an exciting time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit the like button if you liked it so others can find it. Like and subscribe. Comment down below how your year is going. I wish you a very, very happy new year, Cancers.